Well, Hubbard County is one step closer to developing a recreational and short-term camping park. The county acquired the old Val Chatel Ski Resort land with the help of the nonprofit organization Trust for Public Land. With the old structures still standing, the Land Development Department is hoping to memorialize this history while developing the land for the future. Reporter Mary Ballstead has more in this week's Northwoods Adventure. In the 1950s, the Val Chatel Ski Resort was a popular destination for many outdoor enthusiasts. Now, Hubbard County is hoping to revitalize the area into a county park. You know, the county uh, just went through a recreation planning process uh, a couple of years ago and adopted a new recreation plan for the county. And one of the things that the county wanted was a was a, uh, a park uh, that had some camping in it. And then the property came on the market uh, again last spring and Hubbard County um, asked Trust for Public Land if we would help them acquire it for a new county uh, park and campground. Short-term camping is one of the things that the, the, the park is, or the county is, is really in need of. Some of these campgrounds are so popular that there's just not enough room for people. So the county wanted to have um, more uh, campsites. However, the county would first need to clear the land of the old structures before moving forward with any kind of developing. We've got a lot of, of, of buildings that were built in the 50s and 60s and they haven't been maintained for 30 years. There's a lot of history in those buildings and they are very unique and ornate. It's unfortunate uh, that we, we probably won't be able to use them but we're going to try and capture as much of, of those buildings as we can and put them into any new structures that we build out there. Those at Hubbard County are hoping to preserve a lot of the history that comes with the Val Chatel area. This includes taking down the chandelier and preserving it, perhaps even using it in the new picnic area. Once the park opens, it can be used for plenty of outdoor activities, such as hiking, snowshoeing, or even just camping. But at the same time, uh, it will protect the natural resources of the property. Uh, most of the land will be kept natural, but there'll be a few areas that will allow for some uh, limited development. It's, it's a very unique piece of property for Hubbard County, um, and it will be uh, a very good asset for the county. Uh, we just need to make it into a, a usable um, park. Reporting from Park Rapids with this week's Northwoods Adventure, I'm Mary Balsted. Lakeland News. Lohmeyer is currently working with the Greater Minnesota Regional Parks and Trails Commission to designate the area as a regional park. That designation would allow the county to earn state funding for the project. There is no opening date yet set for the park. Lakeland News is member supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.